everybody, today I want to talk to you about Miraness Mattifying Lip Rouge. I did purchase this product through Birchbox using my Birchbox points, but I have been a big fan of Miraness for quite some time now. Um, now their new product, the Mattifying Lip Rouge, by the way, this is the product and all the product details are on the back here. So this is their packaging for their products, which I think is really neat. A lot of their products come like this. It says our first rich cushion comfort matte lip color that delivers infinite wear, superb hydrating formula and lip hug app lip hug applicator fills in lip lines beautifully mattifying lips can go anywhere um, and it says Miraness difference tattoo like staying power no lip liner necessary and plush velvet finish now um, I love this but I chose the color New York because hey you know I'm from New York and the name was all around the top of the tube so I thought that that was unique um, it's also on the bottom here now this product, I was kind of expecting, um, I don't know why, but I was kind of expecting like a Kat Von D everlasting liquid lipstick kind of feel, like that dry feeling, kind of like I'm wearing now with this, I'm wearing my Lip Couture from LA Splash, so I was kind of expecting like a similar thing like this, but it, actually this product is very similar to the NYX soft matte lip creams so if you're wondering like what is this compared to very similar so here is the applicator it's a doe foot applicator and when you apply it as you can see it's extremely opaque very creamy i'm sorry very creamy very opaque very creamy very opaque you don't need um you don't need a lot of product with this i will say that um it's, it's easier to apply this product when you have a lip liner on, but you don't necessarily need one. By the way, this product has a very strong, fruity scent. Very similar to like, you've ever tried like 25 cent gum, like the strips of gum. I don't remember which flavor, but very, very fruity, kind of cheap gum smell. Um, it dissipates fairly quickly, so it's not something that's going to be there all day. But it is something that if you're very sensitive to scents, you might not like it. Um, at first, like I said, I'm, I'm like waving my hand and I'm smelling it and I'm kind of getting a little bit of a headache. But I know that it's going to fade soon enough or I'll get used to it that it won't be so much. Um, the shade New York is obviously a bright red. I would have liked to see more of like a candy apple red because of Hey New York. But this more orange pinky base red is also quite pretty and I like the design on the package. Um, most of their shades are named after cities so if you're a fan of a certain city you might be able to find that shade in there a lot. In terms of matte, um, it stays quite um, creamy as you can see. It stays quite creamy. There is a little bit of a reflection. I never got it to be, say, this matte. You see how matte this is? I never got it to be that matte. It was just as matte as, like I said, like an, an NYX soft matte lip cream. This isn't something that's going to be transfer proof. You have to wait quite a while for it to actually be matte. If you don't mind something that's like satiny matte, this is okay. It's not obviously it's not gonna be glossy once it dries down. It's not gonna be glossy, but it kind of finishes at like a satiny matte. It's not a true matte. It's not like a dry matte like this. But with all that being said, if you're looking for something that has a almost matte look and is moisturizing because you say you don't like a product that's dried down like this, say you want something that's a little bit more hydrating, a little bit moisturizing but still matte, then this is a great choice to pick up. It offers a pretty long wear time because it kind of stains your lips, so you can get about eight to ten hours of wear. I do suggest using a lip liner because if you go outside your lips and you accidentally mess up it kind of is very apparent so my suggestion to you would be use a clear lip liner just to help you in case you go outside the lines it'll help keep you in there is no bleeding there is no feathering so you don't have to worry about that and it really does help for example if your lips have lip if you have a little bit of lip flaws say you didn't get to exfoliate your lips say you have just chap lips say you have chap lips say you don't have time to exfoliate your lips say your lips don't look as full as you would like them to you have the little lines like I have small lips so I have little lines in my lips so I like that this product was able to fill in any of the fine lines that I have on my lips without um, settling into them so this product is definitely one that's gonna help your lips look the best that they can but it's not doesn't live up to its whole mattifying lip name so I've had this on my hand for about 10 minutes now and you can see it's still a little bit glossy it's definitely not its maddest matte I could tell you that 
if you're looking for a product similar to the NYX lip creams that last just a little bit longer and you don't mind a fruity scent, you should definitely pick up the Muraness Satifying Lip Rouge. It is available right now on Birchbox.com, but it's also available, available from the Muraness website. I will leave both links below. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching. I have included a picture swatch at the very end, so be sure to check that out if you'd like to see how it looks on the lip. Be sure to subscribe to my fashion and beauty blog and follow me on Instagram. I'm Recycled Stardust.